This is a 7800 paddle controller. Have you ever seen anything this cool before in your life? I didn't think so. Later on in the show, I'm going to tell you how you could enter to win your very own pair of 7800 paddle controllers. Stay tuned. <music> Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lynx Lounge. I'm your host BTB and we are gonna get weird today with a fighting game, like a double dragon style game involving food. Yes, that is correct. We are talking about Kung Food. Um, I, I don't even know where to start on this thing other than let's just roll that beautiful bean footage. All right, this is a weird game. I mean, this, this it's like, it just starts off and you kind of like, you know, without reading the manual, you got to like put two and two together. I, I guess you like, it looks like you stole something. You just jump out and then the knocks over the police. And then you, you're, next thing you know, you're in a freezer. You don't know what happened, right? You got to read your manual here because um, the good folks at Atari, you know, they spent a long time developing these sorts of things and you know somebody wrote this manual somebody sat down and wrote the story about what what kung fu is about um revenge of the leftovers it says your kitchen is usually a safe warm place not anymore the top secret chemical you stored in your freezer became active when the door was left open now the contents of your freezer have come to life and the effects of this chemical have spread throughout the kitchen. Even you have been transformed, reduced to a little green man. You must boldly go to the freezer and destroy such transformed tidbits as ice demons and killer kung fu carrots. If you fail, your fearsome food will conquer the world. Hey, I'm in. I'm in. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. I'm going to beat up food. Come on, man. You saying it's like Double Dragon? Great, let's go. My character's running right. This guy's got some sweet moves. He's got some like sweep kicks, punches. He's got a, he's got a little combo, like pop, 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 right? And a uh, little jump, little jump kicks as well. What an interesting game. I, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's not, um, it's not terrible. Again, it's responsive. When I push the button, he kicks. When he jumps, he jumps. It feels tight. It feels responsive. It's just, uh, it's just weird. And that's a good thing. It's different. It reminds me a lot of, you know, like how weird Ninja Golf is for the 7800. You know, it's just so out there that you're like, okay, cool, yeah, let's play it. Let's play the game, right? And um, this kind of has the same feel to it. Well, you play this buffed out green dude who's some kind of a vegetable, and um, you're gonna go through the freezer, you're gonna go through the kitchen, and you are just gonna put a can of whip ass on any vegetable that has a frown and you are just gonna take it down. That kind of rhyme, that was kind of cool, I like that. Your mother always said, hey, don't play with your food, but guess what? She never said anything about fighting your food, and that's what you're doing. The sound's okay. Um, you know, all the punches and the kicks sound good. Um, there's no ear-piercing Rygar sort of um, moments where you're just like, oh my god, that's like my ears hurt playing the game. Uh, it decent, it's a decent game, it's a decent um, sounding game, it sounds okay. The graphics are 
really good. Um, the sprites are really nice. They're big. It's big characters, and you know, it's um, it's a very interesting game. Let's just say that back in the day when I picked up Kung Fu, this was a game that I was not um, upset or bummed out that I, I spent my money on. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was different, and um, it was just something refreshing, something new, and it had all these really cool things in it that were, you know, unique to the game. This is a game that came out a little bit later in the lifespan of the Lynx. This is 92. And then by 93, you know, we're really seeing a, a major drop off of games. There was a, a couple other companies in the mix that were kind of like coming in at the last minute and fixing the games, getting them out there. Telegames and like Songbird were sort of like these companies that kind of came in and, and picked up games that were uh, not finished being developed. They would finish it and then get it out there. But I mean, that's like 93, and by 94, nobody was playing Lynx. There wasn't anything coming out. At least from Atari, at least from the company. This is a perfect example of a game that had a hard time competing with other systems and also where you could buy it. The Lynx, at least for me, I couldn't go to Target or Walmart or Kmart or anything like that and pick up an Atari Lynx game. I had to make a special trip to either Toys R Us or the mall. And those were the only places that I could get Lynx games. But if I was in Target and I had money in my pocket to burn, I could go get a Sega Game Gear game because all of Sega and Nintendo stuff, you know, that was, that was, you know, you could go anywhere and buy that. Unfortunately, for Atari, you had to go to select stores in order to buy their stuff. Therefore, more kids had Sega Game Gears, more kids had um, Game Boys, and that stuff was easier to buy, and unfortunately, games like this unique games, interesting games, games that you could only play on the Atari Lynx um, were a little bit harder to come by as far as a consumer is concerned. Okay, so is Kung Fu a game that you should pick up? Well, if you're looking for something different, something interesting, something unique, and that you could only play on the Atari Lynx, I think, yeah, pick up Kung Fu. Is it groundbreaking? No. Is it, um, you know, the best game out there? No, it's not. It's a decent game, but it's not a bad game. You're not going to be disappointed for buying Kung Fu. In fact, you're going to be thanking yourself and you say, hey, you know what? Um, is anybody else playing Kung Fu today? No, I'm only the one in the world playing Kung Fu right now uh, because it's so unique and so different. Hey, so that's it, folks. That's another episode of Lynx Lounge. Thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to have many, many more episodes coming up. So stay tuned and I will be talking to you real soon. See you later. Don't play with your food so much. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, how do I get my hands on a pair of these? It's really easy. You need to do two things. Number one, you're gonna to subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, don't worry about it. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Second, you are going to participate in a high score squad challenge at Atari.io. You can join in any and every high score squad challenge at Atari I.O. up until December 1st. Every squad challenge you enter is another chance to win. Now do me a favor, shout me out when you post your high score. Make sure you say BTB, enter me to win, and it's all good to go. On December 1st, 
2020, we are going to do a drawing and we are going to see who is the lucky person that is going to win these beautiful bad boys right here. I wish you all the best of luck. And while you're participating in the High Score Squad, check out Atari I.O. They've got all of the cool things that we all love talking about. We love talking about video games. We love talking about retro stuff, vintage stuff. We love talking about TurboGrafx-16, Sega, Nintendo, all of the kits, all of the classics, and it's all there at Atari I.O. Good luck in the contest, and I will see you in the forums at Atari.io. See you later. Check out Atari.io for the very best in retro life and classic gaming. From Atari to Nintendo, Sega, TurboGrafx, and beyond. Atari.io